Hello there, this is Sandy from your Railroads Online team. Hey there, this is Goku. How's it going? So today we will answer your first questions. Thanks for having um, yeah, added so many questions. I guess we are about 120, 130 more or less. So we start with, I guess, 20, 30 questions right now. So um, Goku and me will play a little bit on this map. That's the prelate map that Goku prepared for the game. And yeah, while our train is running to the logging camp, we will answer some questions. So uh, before we get started with answering some of you guys' burning questions, we wanted to cover a few things. Um, so due to our NDAs, um, we are only allowed to say certain things and answer certain questions. Um, there are also some things that were requested as feature plans for from you guys, and we currently don't know. We don't know or we don't know if it's going to be in the game, so we can't give you a definitive answer outside of not planned at this time or simply we just don't know if it's going to be added into the game. But the, the closer we get to potentially adding those things, we will definitely let uh, everybody know in another QA at a later time. All right, so um, now you can see already we are on our test branch. There is also the minimap shown on the right side. And we can also already start to use the maximap. As said in my YouTube video before, it's not yet completely ready, but the switch function is already working. And we want to try right now if I can set all the switches to the logging camp up front. I cannot promise yet we will really arrive there. <laughs> As I don't know the map, so Goku build it, but um, let's just have a quick check. Here we go, there. Then we have to turn to the left. That looks all right. Let's go a little bit further. Further. Well, it looks that they are all set correctly already. Oh, this one maybe not. Okay. <laughs> Probably this one I wanted to try now is not switchy. I, I guess we'll find out when we get there. If we end ah, up at, no. the, at the coal mine, I suppose it's okay. No, it worked. It worked. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, let's see. I guess I guess I said all the switches correct. I have no idea. Let's just check it out. So, you already fired the logo? You're ready to go? Yes, we are all. Yes, we are ready to go, yes. I just have one here, so... Yeah, so we can start with the first question, I guess. So, let's go there. First question was, will there be a rebuild system for engines like the Class 125? Which went through multiple rebuilds and what do you think that will look like? Uh, good question. So, the Class 125 uh, may receive upgrades over time. Uh, we currently still don't have a plan on how to implement alternate body groups for engines, but we have a somewhat of an idea of how we want to do that. So definitely more on that one to come later. Will there be <laughs> the ability to have an inline platforms at industries that currently do not have them, such as the iron smelter and oil refinery? So a single straight track can service all inputs like other industries. So I believe this person's asking about forced shunting, correct? Uh, I guess so. So I, I like this idea because yeah, I totally get the point why it would, would be nice to have an inline platform, but it's not yet planned. But um, yeah, due to request to Kuma, it's not impossible to implement. So we'll put it on our feedback list and have a look on later. So, next question was, will there be the ability to change the font style for name or tender lettering? Uh, not currently planned at this time. Right. Uh, when will the game approximately be out of ac early access and to be fully released? Yes, uh, this is planned for the end of 2024. And you can check our Trello roadmap. Um, the link is in the description below. 
The next question, will there be ability to control more than one locomotive at the same time in driving UI for locomotives coupled together? So for example, single player can control a multiple traction train without risking his life jumping. Yes, there is a feature planned that if several locomotives are in one train, the inputs will be synchronized with each other. Nice. And will there be different types of splines simulating, for example, retention wall, only in one side, cuts, or low quality track? Uh, yes, we plan to add more spline variants that will look different at a later stage. Cool. Okay. Will the Mason Bogey ever have a tender text? Yeah, yeah. so we're looking to overhaul some models and then we will ch check this option. Cool. Uh, next question. Will there be maintenance for engines and rolling stock? So a few weeks ago we discussed in one of our meetings that we would also like to see maintenance for engines and rolling stock amongst other things. And we agree that this would be a good feature, but currently at this time uh, we cannot implement it because it's going to require a lot of work and stuff to set up. But eventually, down the line, we will add something like that in. All right. Are there plans to include settings that change the time that snow drifts accumulate? Unfortunately, no, there are no plans for something like this, but we might add a certain time frame for this in our editor, but implementing the feature that the player can adjust it is not planned at this time. So next question, what is your guys' development process? How long does an idea become something that the community or the developer think of until it becomes part of the game and some major steps and what to get there? Oh, that a loaded question. Uh, depending on the effort of a feature or like depending on how long a feature takes to implement, if it's a small adjustment in the coding or a small feature can be done within a few days, but new content like new engines, industries, maps, or bigger features like spline updates or the maxi and minimap take several weeks to several months, depending on the complexity from the idea until implementation. All right. Okay. Next question. Will we ever get a 262? The 460 kind of broke the chain of engines. All right, at the moment, no 262 is on our roadmap, but we will get together by the middle of this year and discuss further content for version 1.0 or later. Then we will check if we find a 262 on our tech tree uh, for which we have enough information that we can create a model. So before we continue with the next question, I just want to check if we're still <laughs> on the right. Oh, we already we, arrived. We, well, that was quick. Yeah, we're already, we're already here, but uh, we are at definitely at the wrong... Uh entrance okay. point, but that's okay, we'll back in. I said the switch is incorrect, okay, no problem. <laughs> well, you, you are driving the train to the um, right spot now. Yep. All right. Can you do this while answering question? Yes, I will make the movement while answering questions. <laughs> okay. Will we get the chance to participate in events that go on time, like timely contracts, mail, express service, etc.? Uh, currently, something like this is not planned for version 1.0, but potentially may come at a later date if we decide it's a good idea. Hmm. All right. Will we will we ever get a free cam in the driving UI? Oh, I like this idea. That's a really nice idea, and I really see the advantages of it. So we will check the technical possibilities for that. I guess it should be no problem, but yeah, we cannot promise anything yet, but. I guess I, I would try to convince the developers to add that because it's a really nice feature. So next question, are there plans in the near future to fix the 226E2 class 70 front cap doors being synchronized to the cap windows? Uh, currently, no, but we will add this to our features list to be added at a later time. Uh, is there any thought for more types of crossings and switches planned to implement in the future? Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> um, 
we uh, also plan to add some new splines someday and this will also contain some new crosses and switches so visually different but they're not yet um, confirmed or not yet designed or decided which ones but we definitely plan to add more things that players have more varieties to choose from cool so you all right with the train? Let me check where I'm yeah, I missed the, the switch. Yeah, I hit the wrong <laughs> switch. Oh, I distracted with all these questions. <laughs> yeah, I see some trees, but it, they are not on the track, I guess. No. No, they're not. They shouldn't be, at least. All right. You ready for the next question? Um, yes, let's go. Will there be coal burning versions of the locusts that burn coal in real life, but burn wood in the game? Uh, eventually, this is something we will look into when we plan to add a workshop into the game, uh, which means that there'll be more possibilities for customization after you have initially purchased your engine. Uh, next question. Will there be other type to, types of geared locomotives? Examples, Types B or Type C class chaise or three truck climaxes or heisters? Yeah, at the moment there are no other geared locomotives on our roadmap, but we will together by the middle of this year, like already said, and then we will check which locus we might add. To... Maybe one more geared is in there, but I don't know yet. Now it's a really nice question coming up. Something that a lot of people are asking for. Will there ever be tunnels? Will there be tunnels? Do we really want tunnels, though? I mean, yeah, we do need some tunnels, don't you think? Uh, we have so some more details on this. We have tried several ways to implement tunnels, but didn't find a way to make them work properly. So we have some more ideas in mind on how we can continue experimenting after our next bigger updates. Our goal is to still implement them for version 1.0, but at this moment, we have not found a solution to implement tunnels without major bugs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so next question. Would you ever add fauna similar to how Transport, Transport Fever 2, for example, has bears, cougars, deers, and foxes that can be spotted while on the train? Um, yeah, I, I personally would love to add more animals and uh, more life in general, but... Um... They might be animated, of course, and then we have to check um, the effects on the performance. So, yeah, the performance is not the best yet. We are waiting for our performance update to come. And um, then we have to check how um, moving animals or other plants that might somehow move um, will affect the performance. And then we can check if we can add something like this or not. But I definitely would love to see that in the game. Yeah, I think that would be pretty cool to see. Yeah. So, will there be new props coming out like horses, cows, people wagons with hitched horses, animated props, steam machinery and animal people, anything? <laughs> any large industrial building with smokestacks, smoking, any wooden writable signs to add to buildings, tents, camps and campfires? That was a long question. <laughs> that was a very long question. And uh, the short answer, yes, we definitely plan to add more props in a later time. If they're animated, it is also depending on the performance of the game. Right. Next question. Will there be any sounds of wilderness, birds, elk, bear, or nature, nature sounds? Uh, sure. A sound update is on our list, but not with the highest priority. Still depending on our development process and how much time there'll be left for 1.0, we may add this either before 1.0 or shortly thereafter 1.0. Awesome. All right, is there any plan to export versions of European locomotives, even ones as an exotic engine? Uh, no, something like this is not planned at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's a cool idea. Maybe we might have a look at it. So. Not yet, but maybe later. Cool. So, will there be some sort of storage building for cargo so that you can store your cargo when you have an abundance of it? This could prevent 
a leg from a massive ray yacht, I think. That was the question. Yeah, for sure. Like we had uh, said previously that we are currently waiting on performance updates, which could potentially uh, prevent a lot of the lag that players are seeing or a lot of FPS drops. But currently, no, there's nothing like this planned at the moment. You can use your locomotive sheds or rail yards outside of the industries to store your cars with product. All right, so uh, now some questions uh, coming up from you. Should I should I drive the locomotive? I have no idea if we will go right. <laughs> oh, do you? It's the it's the same way back, so we can. Do we want to take this to the sawmill? It's just one switch you have to hit on the way to the sawmill. So I can do it if you want. Okay. You can drive. I'll. I drive. I'll it. Okay. Okay, you ready? Oh uh, yeah. Driving and um, answering questions. I will try. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a little difficult. Okay. All right. Next question: Will there ever be an ability to create cuts as opposed to slash add in additions to tunnels? Oh yeah, people will not like that answer. But terra modification is currently not planned for version one point oh. So maybe later this is something we really have to look in detail though because already tunnels are difficult but terrain modification we don't see any chance to have this for version 1.0 unfortunately. Yeah, terra morphing would require us to build our maps differently than we currently are which is something that is going to take an additional time past 1.0 to create. Yeah. All right. Will there ever be the ability to change locomotives and rail cars configuration, for example, names, numbers, tender text, smokestacks, headlights, paints, etc., after you buy them? Uh, yeah, there we have a, a positive answer. So a workshop is really planned um, as an improvement for version 1.0. Uh, but it's still depending on the time that is left after the next update. So as you know, we are planning now the map update that we are about to be finishing then um, the spline update oh the look was getting low with a second now she's going back just don't want to go too fast <laughs> don't want to derail i know well though my track is rated for high speed so you're fine oh yeah okay we say as 20. we derail it's yeah, I, I've taken Betsy down here at like 35 miles an hour, so I think you're okay. okay. <laughs> so just as a quick hint in between, the mini map is now hidden be, um, behind the, um, the, the driving UI, but this will still be changed, so you will be able to see it in a later version. Uh, where did I stop? Let me just see. You were talking about different configurations for the workshop. Ah, yeah, okay. So the workshop is something we really want to add um, still after the next updates. But first, we have to implement the map update, spline update, UI update, loading screen update, and the rights and alerts update for the multiplayer. So after that, depending on how much time is left, it's one of the first things we want to look at that we really implement the workshop. So quite a bit of content left before we can do that. All right. Would you ever consider removing the height restrictions for building track? Example, to allow players to build steel bridges across a gorge that is too tall for it, then come back at a later time and create support columns for it using stone ballast. Nope. Something like this is not planned. Yeah, and now a question that is really nice for this map now. Will there ever be a mini-map and detailed zoomable map like it was in Railroads Extended that makes building more easily? Uh, I don't know. What do you think, Sandy? Should we add a mini-map to the game in <laughs> similar features that Railroads Online Extended had? Yeah, it would be cool, I guess. <laughs> it would be cool, I guess, yeah. Yes, as you can already see, we are currently working on it. Usually we would have it implemented in March, but we had a few delays, so most likely be implemented in May. Okay, so, okay, sorry. And you also passed the sawmill, by the way. Oh my goodness, you don't say anything. Oh, and he, you were talking. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Yeah, so we're, yeah, back it up and then cut us right when we actually get here. <laughs> I don't know where we got lost, but... Yeah, you just flew right by it, so just back up. And <laughs> yeah, I was, I was just focusing on the questions. I was like, okay. I, I can tell, yeah. <laughs> I look over and we're like flying by and I'm like, oh yeah. 
Let's go there. We're not very good at this, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard playing and answering questions at the same time. Yeah, it's it's really difficult. Okay. Stop. Oh my goodness, oh. the brakes. <laughs> yeah, this will be fixed soon, I hope. Uh, you become used to it, but at some points this is not so bad when you need to stop right now. It's stop. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Next question. Ready? Yeah. All right. Okay. Next <laughs> question. Will we ever be able to write on the tanks of the porters or the cabs of the other STs like the 48 Cliff House and the Ruby Basin? Yeah, that's a similar question that was placed for the Mason Boogie. So um, when we overhaul the locomotives, we uh, will have a look on these options. So, all right. Also, just thought of this same person. Any plans to have snow build up on stock and locomotives when they're left out in the elements? No, at the moment, something like this is not planned. Um, will it be possible to sell off old equipment, early game locomotives, cars that you don't have a use for, for a zebra discount, half or a third of its original value? Uh, good question. <clears throat> so, we also discussed this internally, and it might be implemented with the workshop eventually, coming in Q3 of 2024, hopefully. But this is still, of course, depending on other possibilities in time for implementation left over before 1.0. Okay, will there ever be an option to connect facilities such as cooling towers and engine shed directly to the rails, like how switches currently work? instead of having to place them first and figure out the rails afterwards. Oh yes. <laughs> this is planned for the spline update and I, I really love this improvement. So um, I didn't see anything yet because it's not yet implemented, but um, it's definitely planned by the devs because this is also something that's really difficult for me to place a water tower or something correctly. And yeah, it will have a snapping function and also um, for the industries, uh, when you place an industry, uh, when an industry is placed and you place the track for it, it will also show some information um, when it's set correctly. So it's not too far away, not too close to the industry that you don't have loading or unloading problems later on. So I'm excited for this change to come. Me too, <laughs> because it's really hard. I sometimes. hate placing a water tower twenty times only to get yes. it wrong every single yes. time. Yeah. I, I totally get that point, so... Um, there is in plans a feature that allows locomotives to be fitted with certain appliances. Uh, for example, electric headlights for locos that didn't have them, different pilots based off real catalog options, perhaps headlights, selector switches. Correct? That was Maybe with the workshop. All right. <laughs> What is the process for deciding what locomotives get worked on at a time? Is it driven by ease of info or just random? Um, well, we have a big tech tree and there the locomotives are separated in several time zones. So we try to add as much different types of locomotives to the game with interesting and different wheel arrangements. Um, the most common ones and also rare ones that should not be forgotten. So. We always check the ability to get drawings, informations, and sounds for them, and then we decide if we can make them or not. So, one more question. Would it be possible to move place industry platforms, or in other words, will there ever be a day when we can place an industry but move or rearrange the platform to ease in construction or filling a space? Currently, no, this is not possible as the industries and loading platforms are all one object. Will there be a, one day, will there be one day be a really big map with mountains, ocean access, aka adding harbors, cities, flatlands, etc? Um, at the moment, we won't implement bigger maps than Aurora Falls, so we first have to check the performance issues. 
um, to make the map feel more alive and make it look good, a lot of assets have to be placed and they take a lot of performance, like we answered already before, with maybe animals or wildlife and more plants and more um, flora and fauna. So already for Aurora Falls, we had to delete a lot of plants and bushes and so on to get better performance again for version 1.0. We won't have bigger maps, but um, we plan nonetheless to create different maps for later. And then depending on the performance and so on, we might also implement bigger ones one day. So yes, yeah, awesome. these were now 35 questions answered by now. Um, yeah, I guess we will continue then in the next video with the next ones, because now I guess we will get a lot of feedback for the answers and then we try to give more um, input. And then we just um, check on the next video, the next questions or some questions that might come up now with these answers. Maybe, I guess we'll have to wait and see. So let's check on the big map. Now you can see here on our maxi map where the train is going. Also, when you click on it, you see which car it is and what it has loaded. Currently they are empty, so you don't see anything. But here you can really nice see the moving. You can also toggle the height map and it looks a little bit more clear. We are arriving at the logging camp again. So yeah, I guess we will stop here. That's it from today. Next time we will continue our drive and um, continue answering your questions. So I hope um, you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed all the answers we gave you. Even though some might not have been the ones that you would like to have heard. But <laughs> nonetheless we try to be as open with you as possible and to give you the most input as possible. So, Coco, want to say goodbye or just leave <laughs> No, I'm just going to leave everyone hanging. No, um, yeah, good questions, guys. Uh, keep them coming. We like hearing from you, and hopefully you guys like hearing from us a little more. And like Sandy said, we're trying to be more open and communicate with you guys just a little bit more than we normally do. Um, yeah, I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and we'll see you guys later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Take your train. Now available in Steam Early Access.